Welcome back to day two of working on the shop. So actually, let me get the camera and we'll show you what we got planned today. So the plan today is to put up that two inch rigid foam insulation. I've never used that stuff before and I was gonna use, I was gonna just use fiberglass because it's a little bit cheaper, but the spacing on all of these rafters is, it's non-traditional. So trying to get the six, you know, just, is, so I thought maybe the foam might be a better way to go. So we'll find out here soon enough. So there was a window right there. It looks like it's perfect four by eight. Awfully nice of those guys to leave a, an opening that was perfect with perfect four by eight. Makes it simple. I, I have one piece of drywall left over from the, uh, whoops, from the uh, remodel. I was wondering how to get rid of it. And this is a good, good, good way to get her. It's even the right thickness. Hmm. How are we gonna do this? <laughs> Got it. Okay, so I, if I didn't mention, I framed that up. I just put that scrap two by fours in there, 16 inches on center. So. Uh, So for all of you who have been with me in the wood shop all these, what, five years or so we've been in here, looking at that piece of insulation board, man, it made me, <laughs> made me cringe every time I looked at it when, when I was editing the video. I used to try to put the camera in a way and hide it because it just looks so bad. I cannot wait to have, oops, have this done. We're going to do a, uh, we're going to do a wood paneling using plywood uh, it's gonna look so good it's so easy to do it just is so rich we want to I want to have a place to, to work in that is inspiring that you enjoy being around and and nice nice and kind of cozy and you know kind of reflects the woodworking I think I want to show you something that I, I just found. I didn't know these things existed. Have you ever seen these before? It's a little specific... Focus, focus. Focus. It likes to focus on faces. This, it's, a little, uh, it's a little drywall screw bit. And this was given to me by uh, one of my subscribers. Um, and I didn't know they existed. So your drywall screw... My face away from there. Your drywall screw goes on there. And then... When this green portion, it hits the, the drive, the board, the wall board, it uh, pops out. So you set the screw, the screws are set perfectly every time. So the last thing we need to do before we put up our insulation is there's a, we need to put a piece of backing up here. The rafters, we, we can nail to the rafters, but we don't have anything to nail to on this wall. So we'll just uh, kind of nail a two by four up there as a cleat. So I measured this all out and we'll snap a line here. And that'll be the bottom of our rafters.
This is the piece I've been looking for all day. The final piece. Man, that was a lot of work. I thought that would take about three or four hours. I started this morning at 7 and it's 3.30. Granted, I had to do a little bit of framing and wiring, but a lot of work. But it's good and tight. So I got it. Whoops, ouch. I think I about took my finger off. What happened there? <laughs> I got everything as tight as I could, I can, uh, or I could, uh, with the foam. And every piece was crooked. Every piece was custom cut. There was not, not, nothing square in here. It all, all the rafters all came to a standard. So I got spray foam here that I will go in and, uh, and get hit all the cracks real quick. I got all the joints so tight, I can't really find anything to spray foam. I guess I'll just do these holes here where the wire came through. This is precisely the stage where it looks worse before it gets better. So, day two, insulation's done, wiring rough in is all done, put spray foam around in a few places, didn't really need it, but uh, uh, why not, right? So, now it's time for the plywood. So I've got, uh, this is the AC that I, stuff that I got, it's, it's not perfect, it's in pretty good condition. I might paint it, um, nice to have some white ceiling, it really reflects the lights, it will be really bright in here, might not, we'll see. I can sand a little, these few of these bad spots, but I got it laid out, gonna drill two holes, because uh, we've gotta slip those wires through there. Of course, those are the wires there for the LED light and the future there, whatever that may be. So hopefully I laid out right. Let's drill them. I, it's getting kind of late, but I, I would like to get one piece up just so I can have that satisfaction, kind of get a fresh start on it in the morning. We'll only have eight pieces to put up, so it should go pretty quick. So let me drill these and then we'll, uh, the hard work is about to begin. You guys will be in for a laugh here. Me trying to throw a piece of three quarter inch plywood up and get it secured and screwed by myself. But the first house I remodeled, I had to, I had all the drywall, the whole lid by myself. And so I just built myself one of these. It's just a two by four kind of a T thing. Hopefully at the right spacing, it looks like it might be a little short. <laughs> But uh, hopefully this will hold it up there for me until I get some screws in it. So the key, the key is to have everything within reach <laughs> where, you, where you need it. So uh, that's never ha never happens on the first time. But all right, so let's get some screws here. I made a terrible mistake today. I needed some drywall screws, and I I threw them in the pouch with my inch and five eighths. So as my friend calls it when you get screws all mixed together in your pouch it's called a trail mix. I have to use the vest here. Alright. Oh boy. spray foam so it gets all over everything. I don't know that I like spray foam. It's so messy. First one's always the hardest, right? Jack, you're just in time. Lend your papa a hand. I never like it when you say you're just in time. I know. <laughs> What? Let go, let go, let go. Don't do anything. Put your foot on it so it doesn't slide. Okay. Don't do anything until I tell you. All right, you take that T-handle there, right there. You get it ready. Okay. Okay, you just stand right here. And when I 
Me, it's called for it. Shove it under. All right, ready? Mm-hmm. Oh, my wires came out in there. Shall I put it up? No, it's not working. Alright, put it up. Watch my hands. Right in the middle. Kick, kick, kick it in your foot. Now I gotta, I can't, I gotta get that wire to stay put there. Oh, I need some help with this. It's just too heavy. One more, Jack. Come on. Way to go, Papa. Another beautiful day on the homestead, a nice, just about right, 29 degrees and heavily snowing. We have uh, got another four inches or so in the last 24 hours, and it's nice to have a little freshening up, freshening up once in a while. Man, that was a hard day's work, um, putting up that insulation and, and that plywood, that didn't go well at all. Uh, Working over your head is so difficult. You know, I get many, a lot of men um, suffer heart attacks that work in the construction trades um, if they have to do that type of work because it forces your heart to work so hard um, to supply blood uh, to your arms that are elevated over your head. It's just, it's, if you haven't done it before, it's it's just a hard on, it's hard. It's really, really hard. It's a, you'll be, you'll sleep well the end of that day. So I, uh, I am on um, day two of my raw vegan diet uh, yesterday went it went pretty good I have um, I'm gonna wean myself off of caffeine I did have a um, a small cup of coffee um, no cream in it so no animal products um, and I will slowly taper that off it's enough to uh, the shock to the system without giving up coffee all of a sudden I'm, I'm not willing to do that and be in bed sick for three days but um, oak okay, oak okay, I felt okay um, it's the first three days that are brutal um, some people get so ill from the detox uh, that um, they just don't even feel like getting out of bed I, w I was lucky that I was not that bad but in the evening I certainly had flu-like sy symptoms um, but today's much better so the new juicer came I'm very, very happy with that. Um, it takes me about, probably about 40 minutes in the morning to prepare all my juice uh, for the whole day. Uh, and I've got a, a kind of a pretty good system worked out that I can uh, put it in a cooler, a little a soft cooler and, and everything organized. I can take it with me and then I'm not tempted to, to cheat if we go out or if we go skiing or go into town. I have these things with me and I can um, it helps me. So I was going to do some videos on this and then I got a lot of, uh, when I mentioned it last time, I got a lot of um, oh, backlash, I guess. I, a lot of you said, oh, you know, don't be putting that on the channel. We don't care about that. Um, this is a homesteading channel and you know, I, I get that, um, but I I don't know. I'm not sure what to do. If you want to see that, and I'm not going to do it in, in substitute, you know, I'm not going to substitute the normal content or interrupt the wood, sh the, the wood shop project, um, but if you want to see that, click a thumbs up. And if I get a lot of support on this video, that'll tell me that there is indeed interest. Um, so uh, if you want to see that, uh, in addition to and um, I'm happy to share that. But um, again, I'm on day two. So if you haven't, um, well, we'll see. We'll see if that's something we want to share. What else was there? Going to head into town today. It's Sunday. Uh, we're going to pick up um, the rest of the plywood for the walls. 
and get those walls up. I'm really excited. I have so much, uh, so many interesting things to share with you guys on how to set things up and the, the workflow and a way to make a great tool storage that's uh, going to be real simple that you know, anyone can make themselves. And I just haven't been excited about something like this in a, in a long time. I'm uh, I, That room is going to be uh, a place that I want to be and a place that Jack and I can spend time in and, and um, get out of Mrs. W's hair. So... All right. Well, thanks for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up and uh, we always appreciate your comments and we'll see you guys on the next video.